What's going on YouTube? It's your big homie Lennon coming back again with another video, man. And today we're gonna take a look at the Air Jordan 185 in the Georgetown colorway. Now, before we dive into the video, man, if you enjoy sneaker content, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. And stay tapped in by hitting the subscribe button if you want any tips, advice, or reviews on anything sneaker related. Now, as of today, man, this sneaker is set to release April the 4th for a retail price of $200. That price point is killing me, but I'm telling you. Now, as of right now, man, I do see this sneaker loaded up on the sneaker app. I don't see it on the Hibbits app, Finish Line app, and I don't think too many stores in my local area are gonna have them, man. I know the boutiques will, but if you want this sneaker, man, like I always say, make sure you put your footwork in, because if you don't, you're gonna take a major L. A major one. As y'all can see of late, man, Nike have been releasing these shoes a little bit weird, man. Like they then pulled the um the USC sixes off the app released them everywhere then you see the rebellion there they was only released in boutique stores for some odd reason i don't know so nike have really been giving us the run around on these releases man now take a look at <laughs> okay <laughs> man true man but anyway man looking at the aftermarket of this shoot man i see the bigger size is going for around 360 man larger size is going for 400 and all the smaller sizes around the 330 range man depending on how this shoe release um we can see a small price drop man but i know these things gonna shoot up in no time man now when i first seen images of the shoe man i really wasn't too fond of the colorway man i mean it's cool now that i actually have it in hand i still feel the same way now, I don't want to be the guy on YouTube that had the reputation of not liking no Jordans, man. But to be honest with you, man, all the colorways that have been dropping haven't really been doing it for me. I mean, I get it. It's an Air Jordan 185, you know, closer to the OG silhouette. I mean, all right, all right, all right. I get that. But it look basic, man. It just don't do it for me. Now, I do like the nostalgic of the shoe, man. I like how they got the size on the side and the production date. I was informed that that's how they used to make the shoes back in the day. And I like that, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of cool, that's kind of cool. Now, I must admit, this is my first time having the Air Jordan 185 in hand, man. I have never owned a pair, never really touched it, never really cared for it. But I do like how they got this sticker with all the information on there, man, that is dope. Yeah, man, but other than that, man, it's cool. I mean, it's a clean colorway, man, but I'm not really too hyped on the shoe. I can't even lie about it. I don't even know I'm gonna keep this in my personal collection, man, because it just don't move it. It just don't move me, I mean. Now, looking at the box, man, the colorway do read College Navy and Summit White. As you can see, man, I don't need to do no in-depth review, man, because it's just navy and gray. That's it, Georgetown colors. Now, once again, like I said, man, I have never owned nor touched an Air Jordan 185. Never cared to, man. But I don't know if this is a new thing or if I've been doing that on the old shoes, but I like the feeling of this time, man. It feels, it's like an old plastic feel to it, man. I like that. That's cool. That's, that's pretty dope. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I'm, I don't know about this color, man, on this time, bro. I really don't, man. I don't know. I just don't know, man. It's weird. I don't know if they're trying to make an aged look. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just ain't feeling it. I just, I really don't care for it, man. They could have just made it gray or navy or something, man. They could just, once again, not you doing too much. Now, this shoe does come with an extra set of navy laces. I think, personally, man, they should have gave me a lace with the same color of the tom because I think that's a cleaner look. I'm not too fond of the different color laces sitting in front of a uh, different color tone. That's just not me, man. I'm not a lace swapping guy. You feel me? So I think they should have KB a lace this color, man. I think they've been real clean. Now, I don't understand why they come in the all red box. I thought it come in the all black box with the red branding. 
I don't know how they used to do it back in the day, man. But if you do know, please inform me down in the comments, man, so I can, you know, learn a little something. You feel me? All the old heads teach me something. But yeah, man, this is a clean shoe. I mean, it ain't bad, man, on the scale from one to ten. I'm gonna give it a six and a half. And I'm only rating that low, man, because like I said, man, this shoe really don't move me like that. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to rock this shoe, sit on this shoe, or sell this shoe, man. I'm not sure. Like I said, it is a clean colorway, man. I could keep it. I don't really have nothing navy in my closet that I can think of. So I might keep it. I'm not sure, man. But um, this will be a good shoe to sit on. I'm, I'm pretty sure, man, this thing gonna go up over time, man. So if you have multiple pairs, you wanna sit on it and you have the capital to sit on it, man, I advise y'all to sit on it. But if you're a reseller like me, man, that like to get the shoe and sell it and on to the next one, man, I advise y'all to do that too, cause you'll never go wrong doing that. You feel me? You will never take no losses doing that. Get the shoe, sell the shoe, get your bread, on to the next one. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all up, man. That's my little thoughts of this shoe, man. But, um, <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button for your boy once again. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at bithomie underscore Leonard. That's L-N-R-D. And until next time, man, I'm out of here.